the way it works in law school, especially when you're not going to the top tiers, is they cut 30 or 40 percent of the incoming students. Okay. And so it's very competitive. It's not like normal college where um, everyone can get an A or a B because it's you versus the test. It's me versus you. So if there's 100 kids in the class, the top 10 are going to get an A. Correct. The next 40 or 50 are going to get the Bs and Cs, and then the bottom 30 are going to fail. And that's designed because they want these lower tier law schools, they bring in more students than, than they want. Correct. So we're competing against each other. So Regardless it, of, our, of our grade. Correct. So if it's a multiple choice test and there's 100 questions and 90% of the class gets 98 of them right and I get 97 out of 100, I'm going to fail because it's curved. So because of that, it's very competitive. And again, luckily, my background of growing up playing competitive sports and, and all that, it didn't intimidate me and I was successful and I finished in the top 10% of my class, which allowed me to, because also to, to transfer, you need to be in the top 10%. Okay. So I went into law school at 21 and finished top 10% and transferred to San Diego for my second and third year. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Are you using your law degree by any, by any chance? Well, I use it. I use it in a more abstract way. Yes, I use it every day because law school taught me a lot of things. It taught me analytical thinking. It taught me to look at problems from both sides because as a lawyer or the way that they teach you in law school is there's no right or wrong answer. It's your, your case you make for each side. So, so sometimes they'd be like, Johnny hit Billy. You represent Billy. Tell us why it's okay. Or you represent Johnny. Tell us why it's not okay. And it doesn't matter your opinion. You have to find a reason to make an argument for both sides. So in business and in life and in relationships, being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes and and examine the situation from their perspective without letting your bias cloud it is is very powerful. So I learned that and honed that technique while in law school and also the competitive nature of the fact that we're classmates and I got to work with you, but simultaneously I'm working against you Correct is very good because then it, you get into the real world where it's kind of the same thing, right? Um, I have competitors in every industry I've ever entered, and while we work simulta- uh, you know, with synergies because a, rise, a rising tide does lift all boats, at the end of the day, they're still competitors. Correct. So learning and understanding how I can work with you but against you at the same time in a good way, and then just the sheer amount of work that law school has where they overload you with so much information and so much reading and so many assignments um, that you have no choice but to work your ass off and if you don't you're going to fail also further cemented kind of my my future self which i'm not afraid of hard work